Hello everyone, my name is Gordon, the nurse philanthropist. I've been receiving several queries and requests to talk about visa retrogression and today I want to address it in the best way I understand. Visa retrogression simply means that visa application cut-off dates have moved backward instead of forward, which is due to increased demand of visa numbers against a limited predetermined visa numbers. We need to remember that Department of State usually retrogress cut-off dates to ensure that the statutory visa number limit imposed by the U.S. Congress for specific visa category is not breached. The limit is usually 140,000 for employment-based visa number, but this year it was estimated to be 197,000 due to additional family visa numbers that were not utilized in 2022, but later transferred to employment-based visa number pool. The limit can also be framed as the maximum of 7% of the total visa numbers allocated to a particular country. So if the visa numbers that have been issued in your country of origin is more than 7% of the total visa number allocated under employment-based category, then the Department of State will go ahead and retrogress the availability of visa numbers in your country of origin. Now, the retrogression is only affecting those who filed or those whose priority date is after May 31st, 2022. Let me say something about the final action cut-off date. We also need to remember that the final action cut-off date which determine the visa number availability is based on the priority date. And priority date is the date when the I-140 immigrant petition for alien worker was filed by the was filed to USCIS, that is the United States Citizenship and Immigration Services. So the date when your I-140 was submitted to the USCIS is the priority date and it is also the final action cutoff date. Nevertheless, we also need to take into account that the visa retrogression does not stop other immigration processes like filing of permanent and labor certification, filing for I-140 immigrant visa petition, filing for D-260, and even the issuance of the case complete by the consulate. So all other visa processing, all other immigration processes are still going on. So if you want to submit your application to agency, kindly go ahead and submit your application because visa retrogression does not stop other activities that are pertaining to immigration to the United States of America. I also want to say that a visa number becomes available when the foreign national priority date is earlier than the cut of date indicated on the relevant visa bulletin. So if your priority date is after 31st May 2022, then that means you won't have any visa number available to you so you have to wait but we all need to take this into account that the u.s financial year runs from september 30th 
to September 30th. So that means that in October 2023, 1st October 2023, new visa numbers will be generated and everyone will become current. All those people whose filings were done after 31st May 2022 will become current and even those who have not gotten their visas and uh, they are current with the current visa bulletin will also become current after October 1st 2023 so they should not be panicked this is a cyclic thing that happened every now and then so myself I went for visa interview in 2019 and I want to say I want to say that there was a retrogression in the month I went for that visa interview. So although my interview schedule was not affected, but the visa was not handed over to me because all the visas that were located to Kenya had already been exhausted. So I wasn't able to get my visa. So I'm just trying to encourage everyone that uh, do not lose faith in the process. The visa retrogression thing happen every year. And uh, it will affect some of us because uh, some of us had already gone for medical examination. And the medical examination usually expires after six months. So you may have to redo the medical examination. But at the end of it, you will get your visa. Somebody is saying that uh, the visas will only be made available in the year 2025 is lying. Because I've said, I went for this interview in 2019, July. But because of visa retrogression, I was not issued with any visa, despite the fact that vi my visa was approved. I was only able to get this visa in the first week of October 2019. And that's why I'm saying the visa numbers run alongside the U.S. financial year. So the U.S. financial year starts on 1st October 2023 of this year. So in the first week of October 2023, new visa numbers will be generated. And the visa bulletin of September 2023 will show that majority of the people whose I-140 petition has already been filed will become current in the first week of October 2023. This is because the Department of State generate new employment-based visa number at the start of every financial year. The consulates and the embassy will also start issuing interview dates contrary to those people who are spreading rumors and propagandas that the interview dates or the visa numbers will only be made available in the year 2025 or after the year 2025. Guys, as we come to an end of this presentation or discussion, I just want to thank my existing subscribers. And I'm also urging you that if you haven't subscribed to this channel, kindly do so as we wait to meet in the United States of America. Thank you so much.